So I got the iPad Pro 12.9 in space grey. Hello and welcome and welcome to my channel if you're new. In this video I am going to be unboxing the iPad Pro 12.9. So if you want to hear my initial thoughts on this, keep watching. I decided to open one of my Christmas gifts early to see what it's like and to start using it. If you've been following my channel you will know that I have a digital planning series and I enjoy digital planning and I, when you are in the education profession you need to be wearing multiple hats and remember lots of different and important information. This is not always easy as you do need to store some of the information down on paper and you cannot store certain information together in the same book. I'm a strong believer in write it down and remove it from your mind. It's so much easier to manage and it does wonders for your well-being. Now I've heard that the iPad is perfect for this. It's really good for taking notes so if you're studying as well you can take notes on your iPad and store them And the bit I like the most is I can access all my apps on my phone on my iPad. I'll be doing a follow-up video where I share my thoughts on the iPad after I've been using it for a couple of days. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos from me. Right, on with the video. So I got the iPad Pro 12.9 in space grey and this is the case. Now it doesn't come with a case and it doesn't come with a pen. Now the pen is £119 and the case ranges from £10 to £20. Now I got this case off Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description bar below and the case was only £11.99. There was another case that looks exactly the same as this and it was £20.99. So do have a look when you're buying stuff from Amazon because there are other sellers selling exactly the same thing, the same amount of reviews for a better price. So I got a pen. I didn't buy the Apple pen because it was £119 and I wasn't sure if I would use that pen. The storage space on the iPad is 256 gigabytes so and if I need more space I can sync it to my cloud or which you can plug in your USB adapter here. The iPad Pro has four speakers so two at the bottom and two at the top and it is lightweight and very thin so it doesn't hurt your hand if you need to hold it. Something that I'm not really keen on is the face recognition so I'll let you know my thoughts on that in my next video. So I'm going to plan the next two weeks using the iPad and using the app GoodNotes and I'll let you know how I get on with this in my next video. So my initial thoughts are this is a fantastic purchase and really good value for money. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.